Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, today I am here at EV Expo which is happening in Hyderabad and, and now I am at Electron EV stall. So we have an executive from Electron EV. Hi sir, your good name please. Hi. My name is Chinnayana Polukante. Okay. I am the city of Electron EV. Okay. So what is the specialty of this Electron EV? So I, I can see a huge truck over here and uh, uh, I think this is not a new truck. Yes. So what is the concept behind this? Yeah, so we do have the two types of models. One is okay. retrofit model, another one is the skateboard. Okay. skateboard I think platform. this is a retrofit Retrofit model. version of the so, Asakla Land uh, bus okay. vehicle. I heard the retrofitments in two wheelers uh, and three wheelers. So this is the first time I am seeing a retrofitment in this uh, heavy truck uh, yes, category. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. So what is the story behind this? So story is uh, basically <clears throat> we are environment friendly you know, kind of stuff. So most of the emissions are coming from higher tonnage. Okay. That is uh, one of the region. So why we want to move for the higher tonnage of the vehicles? Okay. So usually in two wheelers and three wheelers, while converting a IC engine into the electric, we'll change the, we'll uh, remove the motor and we'll uh, attach a battery and a motor in place of that, and we'll run the vehicle. That's so true. while turning these uh, heavy vehicles into the electric, what kind of changes you have to do to make this as an electric? So similar way, existing powertrain components, engine, transmission, and propeller shaft and all. Okay. So before that, we need to see the chassis uh, uh, no qualification, okay. whether it is good enough or not. Okay. Once we validate that, and we just remove the existing powertrain, conventional okay. vehicle, any, okay. any engine, all those things stuff. Okay. And we will using uh, no crane stuff and all infrastructure. Okay. We will remove them, and we'll see which components to fit where. Okay. In terms of uh, reliability, in terms of uh, no crash test, okay. all those things. That way, we'll choose which component to be placed where. Okay. So basically, what kind of uh, electric equipment goes into this to make it as a uh, pure electric? Yeah. Basically, uh, as everyone knows, so high voltage lithium ion battery packs yeah, obviously. and uh, and electric motor. Okay. And to electrify a couple of components like power steering and uh, air compressor. Okay. So to cool the complete system, okay. electronics and all, okay. we'll also use chillers. Okay. So all those components will go. And as a part of, since we'll be removing completely engine management system, okay. we will come up with the, our own vehicle management unit, okay. so which will co indirectly control each and every part of the vehicle. Okay, I think this includes a lot of engineering and hard work into the, right? Sure, yes. yes. Okay. So basically in two wheelers and three wheelers, we see a battery capacity of close to four kilowatt and max up to 10 kilowatt in three wheelers. Yes, yes. Uh, but when it comes to these heavy trucks, how much kilowatt of battery pack have you used in this? Yes. So it depends on the type of road, uh, electric range, what they, they are looking for. Right okay. now, we are targeting this vehicle for 150 kilometers. Okay. For that, we have used one, uh, 60, 64 kilowatt hour okay. with the 300 volt system. Okay. So have you used any cooling system to cool that batteries? Yes. We okay. do have the battery cooling system. Okay. For that also, we have installed a uh, chiller. Okay. So yeah. basically, you are into the uh, retrofitments of these heavy trucks, right? Or, uh, this, yeah, this is one of the business model for us. Okay. But uh, in US and in India, okay. so with the help of R&D center in US, okay. we are trying to uh, no, uh, go, ahead, go ahead for the higher tonnage vehicles as well. Okay. So not only retrofitment, our own skateboard platform, what we are talking about. Okay. So for that, we are doing a lot of engineering in terms of uh, okay. uh, how to do the reduction and uh, no, increase the payload okay. and, and in that. Fashion. Okay. So, what capacity of motor have you used in this? This 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 motor is of 150 kilowatt. Okay. Continuous and uh, pulse of uh, 250 kilowatt. Okay. What is the top speed and how much uh, payload it can uh, bear? Yeah. This truck can go for 5.5 tons. Uh, no uh, pay, payload. Okay. Okay. Can you take us through the truck uh, by, yeah. uh, for explaining the yeah, components sure, sure, which sure, goes sure. into yeah. it? Yeah. So, I think this is your. Uh, this is our uh, brand. Okay. Yeah. That is a. Uh, this is our website okay. and uh, so you can friends, contact. So friends, if anyone of you is looking uh, to convert your uh, truck, heavy truck into an electric, you can contact them through this. So, okay. so I can see uh, two batteries here. So these are to control the headlights and all electronics, right? That's correct. Okay. That's true. Okay. And uh, yeah, we do have uh, high voltage battery packs are installed between the C channels of the, no? Uh, two C channels of the ladder structure of the truck. Truck. Okay, so basically that under is this, not... the batteries goes under this. Uh, yeah, right? between the C channels. Yeah, yeah, okay. So what's this for? And this is uh, one of the no power converter. Okay. Yeah, which converts AC to DC. Okay. And these are uh, air, existing uh, conventional air cylinder for the brake, brakes okay. and all. Okay, so where we have to put the charging? Yes, I will show you. Okay. So what's this? This is a chiller to cool the battery okay. and a motor and power runners. Okay. 
So basically this is a rear wheel drive, right? So yes. from here we get the power to rear wheels. That's true. Okay. So this is a container. So yeah. uh, I think we can customize this uh, as per our wish, right? Yeah, container can be refer refrigerated version or okay. this one or open end. Okay. So we can customize to the what customer wants. Okay. Right. So this is also a motor, right? Oh no, that is the air compressor. Okay. So for the brakes and all. Okay. It's the electric version of the air compressor. Okay. And this is a charging point you can see. Okay. So how much kilowatt charging it can support? This is type 2 AC charger. Okay. 40 kilowatts. Okay. I can't see a uh, like specification. CCC. See, no, yeah, this no, it is not CCS. Yeah, I, I but think it, type 2 AC charger. Okay. So it, it won't support DC fast charging, right? We can. We'll okay. do it uh, with next version. Okay. Yeah. So one of the USB point in this uh, truck is like uh, onboard AC fast charging. Okay. So with that, we don't need DC fast charging at all. Okay. So in one and a half hour, you can fully charge it. Okay. In one and a half hour, we can charge a 62 kilowatt hour 60 battery. 60 kilowatt battery pack. Okay. And with the 40 kilowatts AC charge, charging unit. Okay. Okay. So rest of all, I think more or less it's same as an IC yeah. truck, right? <coughs> yeah. These are the, this is the traction inverter. In, inverter okay and power steering stuff and all okay so basically the main question is how much does it cost to convert an uh, ic truck into this electric so it goes for uh, no uh, depends on the uh, no uh, range okay it goes for uh, 40 plus okay so and if you take the example of this this is a stock leland truck yeah. right yeah. and you are offering a 150 kilometers of range by arranging a 62 kilowatt hour battery yeah. so how much does it cost to make, convert this vehicle so 45 to 50, 50 lakhs of rupees. Okay, so if we spend close to 50 lakhs, yeah. we can convert our existing IC heavy truck into an electric truck. Yeah. Okay, so how much warranty you are giving on your motor and all these components? So, batteries like uh, uh, three types of battery warranties three okay. years and five years and eight years. Okay. For motors, so minimum of 15, uh, 15 years warranty. Okay. And rest of the components are mostly lifetime warranty okay. because uh, maintenance is very less. Okay. So, the customers can contact through your mail ID or a website which we have shown. Website has all the details. Okay. They can even direct contact okay. me as well. So, once getting into this driver cabin to show. So, most of the infrastructure in the driver okay. cabin is similar okay. for retrofit. Additional thing what we are adding is like a interactive display. Okay. <coughs> Hi, coming to the cabin interior design and all. So we we are giving the uh, interactive Android based touch display. You can see all the parameters uh, like uh, last charged and uh, <coughs> trip distance, uh, existing power. And it also uh, tell us uh, how much regeneration power and all. Okay. Do and this have an app connectivity? Yes, we do have app connectivity as well as all the data, whatever is showing here. Okay. Can be is being uploaded to the website. Okay. So fleet owners can directly see the complete <coughs> health of the inf uh, no complete vehicle. Okay. So, so like my basic question is uh, like you are quoting 50 lakhs for this. Yes. So I think the 50 lakhs amount is uh, a bit more expensive. So yes, don't you battery that? cost itself cost us like 40% of the total existing vehicle. Okay. So, yeah. So, have you partnered with any fleet operators uh, till now or? Uh? Yeah, uh, we have a couple of, uh, no, LYS been uh, with Amazon and okay. uh, uh, Heritage, okay. Style Electric. Okay. So, we have to deliver okay. a couple of vehicles okay. to them. Okay. So, how much time does it take to uh, build your own uh, base and uh, with this pure electric? For the retrofit <coughs> vehicle, mm -hmm. we max takes uh, max of one month. Okay. So, yeah. if I give my uh, IC truck to you, so within one month, you will convert it into the electric. Electric right? and it deliver it to you. Okay. Done. Done. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. you for your information. Yeah. Yeah. So, friends, as you saw, this is all about the Electron EV who converts your IC heavy trucks into electric. So watch your thoughts on this conversion kit, please let us know in the comment section. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. So see you in another interesting video. Until then, go green, go electric. electric.